Warner Brothers still being weird about their trailers. This movie's coming out in less than a month, and now we finally have our second full trailer. This trailer was overdue for like a month. I am, of course, talking about the trailer for Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. My, my, my. This trailer, like the last trailer, establishes the tone of the movie perfectly. It's not taking itself seriously at all. It's here to be fun, maybe even a little ridiculous and even stupid. It's gonna be zany and over the top, and I'm glad the trailers are telling me that before I go see it. And this trailer shows us a couple of new things that we didn't see in the previous looks. I like the beginning of this trailer a lot. It's Harley Quinn walking into, I think, a bank. She's like, I'd like to report a crime. The cop's like, what crime? Then she whips out her weapon. She's like, this one! I'm like, yep, that's totally Harley. But then the trailer goes freeze frame and she starts narrating. Ah, shit. I told this all wrong. Quick history lesson. That's where I was like, okay, that's how I know this movie's gonna be a lot of fun and fourth wall breaking, kind of like Deadpool. Because the Deadpool movies are also narrated by the title character Deadpool. In fact, now that I really think about it, I feel like Birds of Prey is going to pretty much be DC's version of Deadpool. Minus the pop culture references. But Harley's gonna be breaking the fourth wall, talking to us, plus the fun, silly tone, just, it sounds like Deadpool. Which just ain't a bad thing to me. I mean, you see that it's gonna be zany, cause Harley's like, I broke up with the Joker, and you see her crash this van, or truck rather, into Ace Chemicals, and the explosions are all colorful, it looks like the 4th of July, which does make sense, you know, since it's a big chemical plant. In fact, I think that's where in Suicide Squad she became Harley Quinn, if I remember correctly. If you remember in Suicide Squad, you know, Harleen Quinzel, she fell into the vat of acid and Joker was gonna leave, but he decided to go in after her. That was the origin of Harley Quinn in the DCEU. I'm thinking that was in Ace Chemicals, which is in Gotham City. You see it in the Batman Arkham games. And speaking of stuff from the Arkham games, Black Mask. It's a good segue. We do finally see that he does have a black mask. And yeah, it looks really good. It looks like black mask that I know from the Arkham games. The black skull mask, you know, you see one shot, he's wearing it right next to the car. He's wearing a really cool looking suit. I want that suit. But of course, the better look at it is later in the trailer when you see him put the mask on. It's like a close up. I'm like, yeah, all right. Not only is he Roman Sionis, but he is black mask. Although I am wondering how much face time versus mask time we're gonna see in the movie. Is he gonna spend more time in the movie with the mask off or with the mask on? If I had to guess, probably mask off. That's probably not not gonna be a bad thing, it's just a nitpick, you know? But what I really like in this trailer is that we finally meet the crew, the Birds of Prey. It's not just the Harley Quinn show, I mean, it may mainly be the Harley Quinn show for the most part, but we do have the rest of the team, you know? And Harley lists the reasons that they are part of the team going up against Black Mask. Cassandra Kane apparently stole a diamond from Victor Zaz, who is working with Black Mask, so she's gonna be on the run and will probably need protection. Black Canary, played by Journey Smollett Bell, I guess used to be a singer for Black Mask, and she left him, she betrayed him. And on a side note, the soundtrack album was just announced for this movie as well. And Journey Smollett Bell, who's playing Black Canary, has a song on there, so I like the fact that they made Black Canary a singer in this movie. Again, having to do with the whole sonic sound thing, which you see her canary cry, and later on in this trailer, I'll get to that. But yeah, Black Canary is gonna be pretty cool. And then there's Huntress, played by Mary Winstead, who I guess killed a friend of Black Mask. And I'm pretty sure she's also gonna be really cool in this movie. I mean, Harley said it herself in this trailer. What? You are so cool. So yeah, all right, this trailer's hyping up Huntress for us. Again, I like the character of Huntress. I love Mary Winstead. And yes, I still love the outfit because it's still sexy. And the final member of the group, who I didn't think was going to be a member of the Birds of Prey, I just thought she was gonna be another character, but I guess she is one of the Birds of Prey. That is Renee Montoya, played by Rosie Perez. She's the cop who's brave enough to file a case against Roman Sionis. And apparently she's got some fighting skills as well. So all right, what I originally thought was going to be a team of three, Turns out to be a team of five. Harley Quinn, Cassandra Cain, Black Canary, Huntress, and Renee Montoya, our birds of prey. Again, giving us that girl power that superhero movie fans have been asking for. There are a few moments in this trailer that I really like that were like highlights to me. One of them is where Harley Quinn is talking to Huntress. She's all like, psychologically speaking, vengeance rarely brings us the catharsis we hope for. Then there's a brief pause and she turns, she's like, are we ready? I was like, okay, maybe Harley and Quinzel does still have a little bit of that psychiatrist left in her. I do like it when the movies show that, like that scene in the Suicide Squad extended cut that I talked about in my video on the last trailer. To me, that shows that Harleen Quinzel is not completely gone. I am kind of curious to know who Harleen Quinzel was before she became Harley Quinn, because we don't know too much about that. I mean, of course, I'm sure this movie's not gonna dive into that. I'm just saying, though. I also really like the fact that, yes, we do see the canary cry. There it is. Man, that looks awesome. I am wondering what it's gonna sound like. I hope my ears aren't gonna bleed afterwards. But yeah, it does look really cool. And then at the very end of the trailer, we have this funny scene. Shit, is that a hyena in a bathtub? I named him Bruce after that hunky Wayne guy. <laughs> That hyena, though. I love that it's named Bruce, you know, kind of poking fun at Batman. But I will say, in that last shot, it looked kind of CG. I don't like it in movies when animals are apparently CG. Like the rhinos in Black Panther, I was like, those are obviously CG rhinos. Like, we've gotten to a point now where CG animals look really, 
real, you know, Lion King. I feel like since Lion King, there's no excuse for bad CG animals in movies anymore. But hey, what do I know? Again, it's a really small nitpick. I still love the fact that Harley has a hyena in this movie. Again, adding to the zaniness and over-the-topness of it. So yeah, in the end, Birds of Prey coming out in less than a month still looks like a hell of a lot of fucking fun because I love Margot Robbie's take on Harley Quinn and I'm just really glad that the trailers are letting me know in advance that this movie's going to be crazy and ridiculous. My one concern is that this movie may not have, like, the heart. You know, it might not hit you in the feels. It might not have any good emotional scenes or if it does, they might not land because this movie's so crazy and ridiculous. Kind of like the Deadpool movies for me. The emotional scenes in the Deadpool movies, they didn't land with me really. I mean, I still enjoy them, but neither of them have gotten my best rating, so I feel like Birds of Prey is gonna fall in line with that. Enjoyable, just not, you know, Mm. Time will tell, but at least I know what I'm in for. So, the second full-length trailer for Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Have you watched it yet? What do you think about it? And who do you think is gonna be cooler, Black Canary or Huntress? I'm curious. Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And, don't forget to subscribe.